I'm going to show you how to make my chicken carbonara, tender chicken, crispy pancetta with spaghetti all tossed together in a silky smooth sauce. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. This chicken carbonara is a fantastic version of the original carbonara. It's perfect for date night and no creams needed to get that thick creamy sauce. I'll also show you how to ensure the egg doesn't scramble. We're going to start by preparing one large chicken breast. Place the chicken breast flat on a board and slice in half through the middle so you have two equal sized thin fillets. Dust the chicken with quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and black pepper. Now add a tablespoon of olive oil to a large frying pan over a medium to high heat. Place the chicken in the pan and cook for five to six minutes, turning once until golden brown and cooked through. Remove from the pan and place on a chopping board to rest for a few minutes and then slice it into strips. Now we're going to cook the pasta. I'm using spaghetti but you could use fettuccine, linguine or even pappardelle. I've got 14 ounces or 400 grams of spaghetti here and I'm going to place it in a large pan of lightly salted boiling water. Bring it back to the boil and then simmer for 10 minutes. While the pasta is cooking, mix together three large eggs in a bowl with 50 grams or half a cup of grated pecorino cheese and 25 grams or quarter of a cup of grated parmesan. Now place two tablespoons of unsalted butter into the frying pan that you cook the chicken in and heat over a medium heat until the butter melts. Add 100 grams or three and a half ounces of diced pancetta and fry for three to four minutes until starting to crisp up. Traditionally you'd use guanciale for carbonara but pancetta works just fine and it's more readily available. Once the pancetta is crispy, turn down the heat and add two cloves of minced garlic to the pan and cook for a further 30 seconds. By now the pasta should be cooked and we're going to transfer the pasta to the frying pan using a set of tongs. Don't worry about excess water dripping into the pan, that starchy water will help ensure a lovely smooth and silky sauce. Add the chicken to the pasta and toss the spaghetti in the pan over the heat for a minute. Now turn off the heat and add a good splash of the reserved pasta water to the pan. Now the trick here is with the heat off we want to constantly lift and lower the pasta with the tongs in the pan whilst slowly pouring in the cheese and egg mixture. Continue lifting and lowering until the egg mixture coats the pasta. Add a little more of the pasta water if needed until you have a lovely creamy sauce. Divide the pasta between bowls and sprinkle on some grated parmesan cheese and black pepper before serving. And that's how you make lovely, silky, creamy chicken carbonara. A bit of a change up from traditional carbonara, but really tasty and ready in 25 minutes. See you next time for more delicious recipes. Mm -hmm.